M0FXB, welcome to my channel. I have had a lot of interest in the RT3S and satellite tracking, so I thought I'd show you the setup. First thing you do is go menu, menu options, options, options menu, general, general options, general options, and go menu, up and general, see it GPS. says GPS on. You want to turn that on, and you're turning the the middle knob, okay, the channel changing knob. And you turn it to the right or the left GPS, GPR, to off, but GPS, just turn it to on, okay? And to confirm, hit the green button. Okay, next step. You need to set your location, otherwise it won't work. So you go menu, go down to radio info, select. Now mine's gone straight to the location screen, but you might have to push the down arrow to do that. So just... Push the down arrow until you see this. Okay, and then just start to type your location. Use an app of some kind. I use the ICOM app to get my location. As you can see, the location is there. So you would just start to type it like this. You would go five, one, three, six, eight, five, and then north, or south so you want north in in the, this part of the world then the other part for me is zero zero two nine three seven and then to set the there's one more digit there zero and then to set the west you push the function which is this button here under the ptt hold it and you go down or up if you can see that it goes east and west and i'm west once you've set that just push the green button and it will give you your io number here as well which is very nice the next section you need to do is install the keps data for satellite on your code or in your using your code plugs i'll show you that right at the end of this video but you you do need to connect the usb cable and your radio to do that but anyway after once you've done that that's basically telling the radio all the information it needs to know to track. So now my radio already has this information. You just go menu, go down, just check your GPS, see if you've got uh, any, you know, I'm indoors so it's not showing hardly anything here. But when it does, you'll get some blue, some blue stripes appear here. Let's go back and go up one to satellite. Hit that and it will say predicting and now it's using all the information it's got plus the firmware the very you know very good firmware to tell you the nearest satellite which is at the top if you want to see what that satellite is doing press the green button okay and it's saying that we're going to get a pass of that particular satellite uh, in 29 minutes that's how good it is if we go back one with the red button we can choose a different satellite if you're looking for a particular one you need to know the number of your other satellite that you like to talk to. I'm completely new to sat satellites, so they all they all are new to me. So hit one. There's another one there in seven hours, and you can see the, the thing. Now, if you want to if, if you want to talk to a satellite, it's very clever. You just select the one with the green button, click down. You get some information about it. Okay, and breathe there, and then click down again. And look, it puts in all the frequencies receive and transmit for you. And even the, that will change with the Doppler shift and other mathematical, you know, numbers that are required to, to get the best frequency. Now, what I found is that you don't really get to hear and talk to the satellite so much when it's above you. It's more when it's when it's moving, I would say, away from you and coming towards you. Just remember that the ra this radio will actually talk to you and tell you when the satellite is getting closer as well. I've noticed that. So just watch the last bit where you install the CPS section and best of luck with um, tracking your satellite with the new RT3S OpenGD77 firmware. And thanks so much to the team for all the work they've put into this. Bye for now, 7.3. M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So if you want to use the satellite tracking with the OpenGD77 software that we're using on the RT3S at the moment, you are going to need to install 
satellite kept. So connect your radio using the normal USB cable, just in normal mode. And go to extras here, open GD77 support and select install satellite kept. This will install the time synchronization, synchronization and everything you need for using satellite tracking on OpenGD77. Bye for now, 7.3.